Hey everybody, it's me coming to you with another video. Hey you guys, this is Phyllis and I am coming to you with a cooking video. And the best part about this video is it's kind of a holiday video. Um, I am starting on my Thanksgiving 2018 meal and um, I'm starting with my dressing. And the first thing is my cornbread. So I wanted to go ahead and start this process and I wanted to film everything. Now, um, I have been watching a lot of uh, dressing videos here on YouTube. And it's just so amazing because um, a lot of people use uh, cream of chicken, cream of mushroom, cream of celery um, in their dressing and I don't. I, I do not use any of the soups um, and I also noticed that uh, some people put eggs in their dressing and to be truthful I can't remember if my mom put eggs in her dressing or not. Um, and this is my mom's recipe, my mom and my grandma, but I can't, or my mom and my big mama, but I can't remember if they put an egg in their dressing. So that is one thing that I am going to try today in this dressing. I am going to put a egg in my dressing, um, but an egg or two, I'm not for sure yet, but yeah, so Basically, um, I've just noticed that a lot of people, they use the chicken, the cream of chicken, celery, and mushroom soups in their dressing. And then I've also noticed that a lot of people use stovetop dressing or the um, prep rich form um, cornbread dressing as well. They mix it in with their cornbread and, and I don't do that either. And so... You know, not that it's anything wrong with that. I mean, that's, I'm sure the dressing is awesome. I'm sure it tastes delicious. But it's like, you know, <clears throat> when you grow up one way, you just kind of hang on to those traditions. And, um, yeah, so that's kind of what this is. This is just my slap your mama. This dressing is going to make you want to slap your mama. <laughs> Um, I'm really serious. I mean, I, it took me a minute to get the dressing to the way I wanted it. Um, a lot of it is my mom and my grandma or my big mama's uh, recipe. But then through the years, I started kind of making it my own. So um, the first thing that I've done. Also, I've noticed that a lot of people use prepackaged cornbread mix. And I like to make my cornbread for my dressing from scratch. And so, um, I usually do it the day before, but today is Tuesday and Thanksgiving is Thursday. So, I kind of, um, trying to get, you know, prepped and so I won't have to do so much on tomorrow and on Thanksgiving. So, I decided to go ahead and fix my cornbread so that it can be nice and, you know, a day or two old and, um, have that out of the way so that's what we're going to do today and the ingredients that i'm going to be needing for this is of course the vegetable oil i'm starting with the cornbread and again this is homemade cornbread okay this is cornbread from scratch so um there you see the vegetable oil right here and then i have the um, i'm sorry about the light y'all i'm over here in a corner corner of my kitchen is the light is horrible but I have um, baking powder and then I have yellow cornmeal here and then I have all-purpose flour I have sugar um, milk salt and I have some eggs right here you know you don't necessarily have to use this cornbread recipe you can use your own um, but this is what I use for my cornbread okay so I'm gonna go ahead and get started and mixing everything up and getting it ready my oven is preheated to 350 degrees it's ready I have my pan oiled and ready to go and I'm about to stick my pan in the oven so that the it can be hot when I put the cornbread mix in so just give me a 
second I'm gonna go ahead and do that right quick and stick that on in the oven before I forget y'all have to excuse my camera I don't want it to fall over so give me one second and this is the pan that I'm using I don't know if you can use it it's old but it's a goodie and it's just a regular pan and then I did spray it with uh, Crisco and I'm gonna put this in the oven and just kind of let this um, get hot. Okay, you guys so this is what the cornbread looks like I have it um, I just poured it in a pan a hot pan so we're getting ready to put this down in the um, in the oven now I'm not for sure what size pan this is but the recipe calls for a uh, let's see here it calls for a 9 by 13 by 2 inch baking pan 9 by 13 by 2 inch baking pan so i'm not for sure if this is what this is i do think i do believe it's a 13 by 9 i do believe that but um that's what it called for but of course you can use whatever you know you have so i'm going to go ahead and put this in the um oven let me see if i can do that by holding this camera oh my goodness let's see okay yeah I don't want to no I'm gonna put this in the oven hold on one second 
Okay, so I have it in the oven. I have it on the bottom shelf and it's in the center of the rack. So we're going to let this bake for, let's see here. We're going to let this bake for 40 to 45 minutes until it's golden brown. I don't like for my cornbread to get too brown. Um, I don't like for my cornbread to get too brown, so I'm going to keep an eye on it. So I probably would set my timer for um, 40 minutes and then check it. And then if it's not brown enough, then I will put it on for uh, five more minutes. So we'll come back after the cornbread has baked. All right, see you in a bit. Hey, everybody. Um, I am back with the uh, cornbread that is now done. Um... I don't know if you can tell right here on the corners of the um, the cornbread I can tell that the bottom is pretty brown so I went ahead and took the cornbread out um, it is golden brown on top and I love that it's a very pretty golden brown but um, I was thinking about letting it stay in another five minutes but then when I looked over here at the corners of the cornbread on the side you can tell that it's pretty brown on the bottom so I didn't want to take any chances because I don't want it to be very very brown on the bottom of the cornbread so yeah this is the finished product this is what it looks like is I just took it out so I won't be able to cut it for you but I would definitely show you what it looks like once I start cutting it and breaking it up for the dressing so this is step one, my um, cake-like or old-fashioned cornbread from scratch. Yes, I'm very proud of this cornbread. It is so good. Everybody loves it. So that's it. So I will be back in a day or so. Well, tomorrow I'll be back tomorrow because I will mix it, mix everything tomorrow and put it in a refrigerator overnight and then put it in the oven on Thursday. So again, this is for Thanksgiving. Today is Tuesday. My cornbread is done. And tomorrow I'll come back and just mix everything up for you and let you see how I assemble my cornbread dressing. All right. See you then. Bye. Good morning everyone. This is Phyllis coming to you with part two of um, preparing my dressing for Thanksgiving which is tomorrow. Um, today is Wednesday so tomorrow is uh, I was about to say tomorrow is Halloween. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving. So um, we went over I did part one which was my um, cornbread and as you can see here Look at that. Look at how thick that that is. Thick cake like wonderful cornbread. So I have a full pan of cornbread that I'm getting ready to crumble up. Um, I also have my meat. Let me show you this. So I have my chicken and I have some giblets or gizzards or yeah whatever you call it I have that here and I normally do not put meat into my dressing but this year I decided to put a little bit my husband has been mentioning it for the last year or so like when you're gonna put meat in the dressing so I decided to go ahead and do that now I'm not gonna put all that meat in the dressing I'm just gonna put a little bit of it because I feel like to me the meat makes the dressing dry and so I don't want to put a whole lot of meat in there but I will put some of the meat and I will definitely show you everything that I'm doing um, I have my chicken broth which is in a pan from when I boiled my chicken and um, I boiled my chicken I seasoned the water really good and I put the chicken in and I let it boil for about two hours and then I shredded the chicken and then what I'm going to do with the gizzards or is I'm going to put those in a food processor and I want them finely chopped um, so yeah I'm gonna do that put the gizzards in the in the food processor so um, I'm gonna try my best to get everything and show you what I'm doing 
Um, I have my seasonings there. Um, I have Sap Your Mama uh, Cajun seasoning. And it's just, uh, you know, like a, a, you know, just a seasoning um, to put on, to put in my dressing. And I have sea salt and then I also have sage. And I use sage and poultry seasoning because my mom and my grandmother did. So I'm using sage and poultry seasoning and I am also using black pepper. And yeah, so I don't know if I'm going to use the regular salt over there. I don't know if I'm going to use the Morton salt or the sea salt. Um, most likely I'm going to use the uh, other, the regular salt and not the sea salt. But I have them both out, so we'll see. I definitely won't use both. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I probably would do a voiceover for this and um, kind of fast forward and let you see everything that I'm doing. So let's just go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is shred up the um, um, cornbread. Also, I am putting about four slices of toast in this as well. So I will do that, show you that as well. So we're going to go ahead and get started.
Okay, you guys, so I hope you saw everything. Um, I got it to the consistency I wanted. And when you're doing it, always make sure that you don't put a lot of liquid in at the beginning because um, once you put in, you can't take out. And so that's why I went and was doing it in sections to make sure that um, I didn't put too much liquid in. But this is the consistency of my cornbread and dressing. And I did do two things that I haven't done before. And that was to add egg. I add, added eggs to it. And um, I have added meat before, but not all the time. So I went ahead and added some meat for my husband because he he likes meat. And I hope I'm not in the camera. He likes meat in his dressing. So I went ahead and put some meat and added two eggs. And now what I'm going to do is put this in the refrigerator and let that marinate. Um, and throw it in the oven tomorrow morning or an hour before it's time to eat. So that is my dressing. So if you have any questions about anything that I've done or didn't do or any suggestions or comments, be nice. Um, please put those down in the comment box. And I appreciate you stopping by and spending time with me. And I want to um, wish you all a happy Thanksgiving. I hope your Thanksgiving Day is blessed with family and friends and good times. So uh, thank you so much again for stopping by and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.